Yeah, I just I, we just get to a point with guys like Mahomes and Brady, and you know, I I, I throw Michael Jordan into this tier as well because you know, I was young when this was going on, but I remember people. I think Jordan was maybe a little bit more universally beloved than say Brady was. Like I think Brady was more of the the villain role where Jordan was more of, of the superhero and, and it's kind of amazing. And, and I think people do it with LeBron James now too. I would throw him into that mix as well. Like LeBron James is maybe the greatest basketball player ever. If not one, he is, I think two. And people say, well, you know, he turns the ball over or, you know, he takes bad shots or he complains to the officials or we, we poke these holes in greatness and I think we just do it because we're haters. We're just haters at the end of the day. And we're jealous at the end of the day. Because if that guy played for the team that we love, we would love him. And we wouldn't pick the holes in it. But what we're seeing right now with people try to try to go after Mahomes and say he got lucky with this and you know that should have been an interception here and, and all that and we could talk about every play in any NFL game saying this should have happened if everything worked out perfectly this should have gone this way we can do that on every play but what it comes down to is you're just mad <laughs> you're just mad that he does not play for the Steelers because if he played for the Steelers uh, who was it, Jason in, in Oakmont? Is that who it was? You would be saying right now, if he played for the Steelers, that that crossbody throw that, you know, got down to McCall Hardman or, you know, Calvin Austin or whoever it would have been in the Steelers' world, that that was one of the great plays in the Super Bowl, one of the great plays in Super Bowl history, one of the best throws ever. You wouldn't be saying, well, you know, the defensive back, you know, he probably should have intercepted that ball. You wouldn't be saying that. If, if that guy was wearing black and gold instead of red and gold, you just wouldn't, you're a hater, you're jealous. It is what it is. And that's fine because I get it. I get why you're jealous. I'm jealous of the guy too. I wish he played on my favorite team, right? I do. Like I wish Connor McDavid played for the penguins right now. <laughs> I wish Shohei Otani played for the pirates. That ain't happening. And I'm jealous over it. It's okay. But we don't need to make, you know, we don't need to live in this world where we we pick apart every little should have, could have, would have thing that happens and try to diminish the greatness of the guy because that's what he is. He's he's modern day Michael Jordan right now. He is. And I don't love it, but I, I recognize it. And you got to recognize it too. 